Hi everyone, I'm Mary Ellen with Headwaters Science Institute and it's Thursday Science Challenge. Today we are going to talk about microbes, all living things too small to see with our eye. These include bacteria, fungus, viruses, protozoa, and algae. They're in us and on us and all around us and they play a key role in all processes of life from nutrient cycling to food spoilage to climate change and the cause and cure of diseases. We can use microbes to our benefit like making life-saving drugs, producing biofuels, cleaning up pollution, and also producing food. Microbes play a key role in recycling nutrients like oxygen, carbon, and sulfur throughout our ecosystem. Today we're going to build a Winogradsky column which was invented by Sergei Winogradsky to culture and study microorganisms. The Winogradsky column is really just a microbial garden and it illustrates how different microorganisms perform their interdependent roles. The activities of one organism enables another to grow and vice versa. These columns are complete, self-contained recycling systems driven only by the energy from light. So if you have mud nearby, you can make a Winogradsky column. To fill my Winogradsky column, I'm going to need some mud. So I came down to this local pond, which doesn't have much water coming in and out of it. So I think I'm going to find some good mud right here. Well, this looks like a good spot to find some mud with microbes in it. So I've got my travel container and I'm going to scoop up gooey, wet mud. The gooier, the wetter, the better. Okay, this is the fun part. This is when we're going to get muddy. What you need for your Wingratsky column is a tall, clear container, about a quart, 32 ounces. I lucked out and found this at the thrift store. A tall vase will work and also a plastic quart drink bottle like you would buy soda in will work too. You'll need some cut up newspaper and a hard boiled egg. This is what we're going to do. We're going to take the mud and I'm going to try to weed out any sticks and rocks that when I grab it. I'm going to put a little bit of mud down in my container and then I'm going to layer my hard-boiled egg. This is adding sulfur to my mix. So I'm going to crumble the hard-boiled egg yolk in there. And then I'm going to add some more mud. And when I get that nice and covered up, I'm going to layer in some newspaper. And the newspaper is adding cellulose. We'll get that to break down into carbon. The idea is the two ingredients are going to promote different kind of bacteria and hopefully add different colors. So now I'm going to take some of this ripped up newspaper and put it in the middle, pack it down, pack it down some more, and now I'm getting my Winogradsky column built. Here's my column all packed with mud, egg yolk, and newspaper. And the final touch is going to be to put some plastic over the top. Uh, the, the column will produce some gases. They're not toxic, but they could be a little stinky. So we'll put plastic over and poke one or two holes in it to let the gas out. Now it's time to put our tube outside in the sun somewhere and wait. This experiment isn't a quick one. You may have to wait weeks or even a month or so, but you'll have fun checking on it every day. You should see some changes in a couple days, but the big changes could take weeks. The sun will encourage photosynthetic bacteria to grow. These are colorful, adding purples, yellows, reds, and greens to the tube. If you get green colors up here, these are light-loving bacteria like cyanobacteria and algae. They will be photosynthesizing. 
In the area that has the newspaper, it's breaking down into carbon, so you may have colors of brown, orange, or red-purple, which is a purple non-sulfur bacteria using the carbon. Where the egg yolk is, down here at the bottom, you may get colors of dark green and purple or black. This is green sulfur bacteria and sulfur reducing bacteria, which is an anaerobic bacteria down there where there is not much oxygen. You can get creative and try different tubes with different substances and see what processes you can encourage, aerobic or anaerobic. Also, try collecting mud from two different areas to compare the microbes found in both of those locations. Maybe see what happens when you make it more saline with salt, or you could put one tube in a closet and one in the sun. See what you can discover. There are so many possibilities. I can't wait to see what colors I'm going to grow in my Winogradsky column. These columns are a really good demonstration of how microorganisms occupy a specific niche or a specific microsite depending on its environmental tolerances like food it needs or energy it needs to grow. If you get a column made and you get some good colors going, please take a picture for us. We'd love to see it. Have fun with it and see you next week.